Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using PrestaShop for beginners in 2024. PrestaShop, of course, or first of all, is a powerful open source e-commerce platform that allows you to create and even manage your online store with ease. So if you want to understand the steps of how to start using it, either locally or by their websites, make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use this whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section here, basically just type prestashop.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you should find yourself in the home screen or main screen of their website. Here, basically, of course, you can click on get started right here so you can be taken air if you want, of course, to just go with the free or classic uh, option. As you can see, you will get all those features. You can go with the hosted option. As you can see, you'll have to pay some and you'll even get a 14 days free trial. As you can see, you'll have to pay $24 or euros per month, which is, I guess, going to be 25 or something like that in dollars. Or you can simply just go the custom codes, but for that, you'll need to go and contact them. So depending on whatever you choose, make sure to select that option. If you give, go with the free option, if you click on it in here, as you can see, they'll take you here to download it. Basically, you'll have to fill up an uh, email, then your profile, are you agency, freelancer, merchant, or just a technology partner, as example, I'll just do freelancer for me. It does not matter whatever you choose, they'll just give you the download option, as you can see, and you can simply download it from here. Of course, after that, you'll have to find a web hosting provider and a domain name to start doing all of that. As you can see, you can even find one of their hosting providers that they have, as you can see. So they have this one and Hostinger. And you have, if you have one of those frequently asked questions, I'll just open them up and you can pause the video and read it out by your own. Of course, basically, once you download this, you'll have to go through, through three steps. Uh, they will tell you here how to do it. Basically, you can just click on launch the step and they will basically give you uh, the steps how to do everything, basically. So you can just click on uh, start, click on next. Uh, you can choose manual or automatic, whatever suits you. And they'll give you like a video for uh, manual and even, oh, sorry, and even like a video for if you want to go with automatic. And they'll even give you the steps with this. After you finish that, you'll go to the second step, which is configure. And lastly, of course, you have personalized, which is the last step that you can go through uh, also. So that, as I said, if you want to just go and start downloading it and start, of course, with one of the hosting providers that they host. Of course, they have a lot of options, but choose whatever suits you like, depending on whatever you want. If you even don't want to go, for example, with the free option, if we just go back, which was here hosted, click on it. As you can see, they will take us into another page and here we'll be able to start, click on start free trial. And of course, we will have to pay and etc. add your card, basically. So connection, your store, payment details, as an example. So create an account or login, depending on whatever you want. You can continue with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So example, just go through that until we uh, reach into the payments and I'll stop. Of course, for you, you can simply finish. As you can see here, you'll have to fill up the store name and be an example, this one. And the registered office, an example, just basically enter whatever you have. So as an example for me, I'll just choose here, United States. And as you can see, you'll be able to preview your URL, which is going to be basically this. So omex for me dot myprestashop then click on continue. And here basically, or finally, you'll have to choose, do you want to pay annually or monthly? So if you pay annually, as you can see, you'll be able to pay per month just 24 uh, euros. But if you pay just monthly, you'll have to pay 29 per month. So as you can see, you'll basically find here the total of everything. So enter your bank card information or just go with the paypal if you want to go with the paypal and once you do so you should be good to go without any problems so that's of course if you want to go with the hosted op uh, option and lastly you have the custom so if you click on contact us here you'll be able to simply uh, create a custom uh, commerce e-commerce site or migrate your existing store to PrestaShop and as you can see you'll have to fill up those informations then describe your projects in a few words then click on contact us and they'll get touch in touch to you as soon as possible 
So those are the three options that you can uh, use if you want to start using, of course, PrestaShop. If you want to uh, host it locally, as an example, I have a thing for you that you can follow as an example. You can open a new tab and simply just uh, type start as an example, uh, Presta or host as an example. So host uh, Presta like shop locally and hit the enter button and you can basically click on the first link provided as you can see by Presta shop so just go and click on that and as you can see they will give you like a single step by step guide on how to basically do it as an example so they will show you an example let's just go through it so of course let's just ignore this because introduction uh, ablt is like uh, an extra so prerequisites that we don't care about and as you can see here we can start by the steps here as you can see they are uh, like the headings of the steps that you are doing that you are going to do and this is basically the details of each step so first of all you have to install the local server application which is in this case they are telling you like map and giving you even the link to it if you click on it Make sure to even as an example open into new tab so you can keep this seven here so just go and open a new tab download this on windows or mac if you have it depending on whatever you have and if you don't even want to use map as an example there's another option which is like uh, instead of map i guess x amp or something like that uh, so let me just go and check like ampp and yeah so yeah this uh, will work very very good as a server for you also if you want to use it without any problem it's the same as map so whatever you want as you can see it will provide you with everything uh, that you want to locally host it but uh, for now as you can see it's better to stuck with map because this like article will show you everything about so, for example they show you even how to download this you don't need the pro you just need the apple bonjour example and etc uh, so you can go through all of that as you can see you'll have to you'll your file will be created on map on windows or application map and of course you'll have to installate uh, the zip of Presta shop they give you two options version 9 or version 1.7 whatever suits you then they'll show you even how to do it on mac and even on windows after that, they'll show you to go and run the servers, of course. Then basically go uh, open your local host, uh, install, uh, install as an example, do all the verification and customization that you want. And you will have basically access to your front and, and basically back office both. And basically, so you'll have access to something like that. So let me just go and show you. So demo.prestashop.com. So you'll have access once you finish all those steps to something, to a website like this or to a e-commerce website like this, where you'll have access to the front office and even the back office. So it's a little bit slow because it's a demo. So you don't have to worry about that for you because you will not be able to, you will not be using this. So as you can see, you'll have access to the uh, back office and even front office, as you said, and you'll be basically good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.